What's up people? This is Rishon Reactions here. Now we are going to do a reaction video of Gravity Falls Lost Episode. So let's get this reaction on the road. Guys, and I here today bringing you guys another cartoon creepy pasta. So if you guys think you guys are going to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, and also be sure to leave a comment and tell me what other cartoon creepypastas you want to see. So with that being said, I just want to say that this creepypasta was recommended to me by one of my subscribers. Um, I couldn't find your comment, and I can't remember your name, man, or I would take a picture of your comment and put it in this video or I would say your name or something for a shout out so that's something new I'm gonna start doing guys so if you guys recommend a video I will give you guys a shout out so with that said this is called the uh, Gravity Falls Lost Episode so I'm gonna go ahead and read it and uh, it's kind of long so I hope you guys enjoy and uh, yeah so here we go I was sitting on my bed 2 a.m. I looked at the bottom right corner and seen new episode of Gravity Falls. The picture wasn't normal. It was Dipper with pitch black eyes holding a knife with a body on a ground. It looked a lot like Mabel's body. After episode of Wander Over Yonder was over, the Gravity Falls episode came on. I was a fan of Gravity Falls, but I swear to God that episode was a living nightmare. The episode played. It had the opening, but it wasn't the normal one. There was flashing pictures of Dipper with a crazed smile while holding a knife. I got freaked out. Did Alex Hirsch really create this? Anyways, the theme song finally ended. It started out as Mabel running from something or someone. She looks behind her to see her crazed brother look at her holding a knife. Dipper, why are you doing this? She shouts out. Because I made sacrifices for you and you never did anything for me. Remember that time with Wendy just to get your stupid pig? Dipper shouts. Dipper, I made a sacrifice for you. I ruined my puppet show for you, Mabel shouts. That was the only thing you did. While I did everything for you. Dipper yells to her. She starts to sob. Dipper walks to her. Any last words, sister? He asks. I love you, she shouts to him. He chuckles. A little too late for that. I already killed Stan, Suze, Wendy, Pacifica, and your most prized present, he says. You didn't. She starts to say. You guessed it, Waddles. He says smiling. I start to sob myself. The voices sounded like the voice actors. Were they, were they the ones who created this? Dipper jabs the knife inside Mabel's chest. Leaves it there for a split second before yanking it out. He splits open her stomach. He pulls out her liver, her lungs, her stomach gut, then the heart. Dipper holds the heart in front of me. It looked real. I gagged and looked at it. It had realistic blood too. I started throwing up. Dipper looked at me. Oh, don't worry, you won't have to deal with this because you're next, Dipper says. The episode continues with Dipper holding Mabel's head. Her mouth stitched into a smile, her eyes filled with tears. Now, now need to kill... He stops for a moment. Oh yeah, Gideon, he says. He goes to Gideon's house and knocks. Gideon answers. What are you doing here, Dipper? Gideon asks. A reason, Dipper says, holding a knife. What are you doing with that knife? Gideon asks, starting to whimper. Dipper jabs a knife into Gideon, doing the same thing as he did with Mabel. He looked up. Dipper saw Gideon's parents looking at him with their mouths wide open of terror. No peeking, Dipper yelled, charging at Gideon's parents. He stabs them multiple times and does the same exact process. The episode finally ended. With Dipper putting Stan, Suze, Wendy, Waddle, Mabel, Gideon, and Gideon's parents in a bin and putting it under his bed and said, I will never forget this moment. 
He smiled madly and it turned off. Now everywhere I walk, I see that damn demon just staring at me. Even in my dreams, I see that living hell in my dreams. I never told anyone but you. Now I, I don't know what's going to happen to me, but all I know is that damn thing is watching me. Alright guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have enjoyed this video, as said at the beginning, be sure to hit that like button below. Uh, hit that subscribe button below and um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what other videos you guys want to see. And I will give you guys a free shout out on that. We are so close to uh, 5k subscribers. I hope we can hit that mark soon. So anyone who comes here, if you can hit that subscribe button, enjoy videos from me. It'll help me out. It'll greatly help you out. And uh... I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Wow, that was the end of it. But some uh, like the papines, like like we don't know if he's like um like some kind of um some kind of creepy pasta. But we don't look for creepy pastas like little kids because sometimes in creepy pasta we just use. We just use um, humans, people, right? We don't use kids. We, we just use adults. Also, I have a next um, a next one to do in season one, episode nine. A Shasa, no suicide story. That could be our next creepy pasta. I'm gonna react on that on that time. So, furthermore, Graf Gravity Falls is like a. A world that you'll never be like a scary place like you're going in a scary place like um let me see like you're going in a disney in a disneyland right let it have scary haunted place in disneyland abandoned disneyland places you can see something going on with the um with the with the toys the toys the um the machine toys and all them kind of thing between um between the um the dolls the 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 make the doors the the water the water the um this one. and you have a lot of things like you, you don't go on on doors you know you'd go on doors because you, you could see what going on inside of the door and you know sometimes in indoors like you don't know if you're going on Disney land but Disneyland is is like is a good place you know to, to go you know but sometimes in the years it have abandoned Disneyland places that you don't don't have to go you really have to go because this is really 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 very going to be our next challenge so if Disney places Ab are abandoned which Disney places where I should have go who is should have been on my time to be abandoned okay I love places like abandoned houses abandoned hotels and abandoned room and furthermore Disney Channel I mean Disney Plan if you want to go to Disneyland and you see a lot of things do you want to go to abandoned Disneyland to see what going on with the, the abandoned place okay like Mickey Mouse like if you see a Mickey Mouse a Mickey Mouse costume or some kind of some kind of um, goofy or Donald Duck or them kind of them kind of them kind of lion kings and all them kind of movies costumes everything like like princess and the frog and princess and the beast okay see Ramon is, is the best show i love but in the years in 20 2016 i used to watch around like see Ramon, like it have seasons it have season one to season four Okay, so I love this kind of show because Sailor Moon is the best show I love. I don't know if I can do a next a video of Sailor Moon or or do a video of 
of what is it called again? That anime movie called um, Discipline. What about Discipline? Oh, you ever watched Discipline before? It's a it's an anime show. It's some kind of um, anime, yes. And a next anime I love. Discipline, the hentai version. Okay, hentai version. Wow, I don't know if that could be a really dangerous manner. Discipline is like an anime show I watch. Wow, I have a lot of, lot of videos of Discipline. Also, I like the, the, um, the hentai version, not, not the censored version. Alright, so let's see if this could be the Discipline thing I have to watch. This was 